Life is akin to the game of snakes and ladders. And implicit in the game is the constant duality of life. The solid rationality of the ladders balances the occult sinuosities of the serpent. The rolling dice becomes a metaphor for this happen chance and an opportunity for an artist to follow his soul and reform himself in the hands of fate. The life of an artist is never a straight path. The inception of this project, the serendipitous happenstance, was entirely based around a chance to have our work showcased against the background of the Kochi Mazira's Biennale in 2016. Because this Biennale was an important midpoint between our love of India, our admiration of this ancient culture, and the really unique voice of Indian contemporary artists. Our quest was not only to work within the gallery, but to actually make work that would speak to people in a public place. Biennales are not like a regular gallery show. They consume a city. And Kochi is no different. When Lulu and I arrived, it was our intention to find a contemporary Indian artist who we could work with. Where were we going to find these contemporary artists? We didn't know, but we just got really, really lucky once again. The gods of India smiled upon us and presented us with opportunities we would never have been able to imagine in our Melbourne studio. Go. Yeah, go. Oh.
walking down the street and just a little further down from the gallery there's we were walking along and I noticed this blue wooden frame like a picture frame into another world because it, you look straight through into this magical garden and there was a gem of an idea there Ganesha. The only sculpture which I had actually brought with me from Melbourne was the brother of Ganesha, Kartikeya, riding on a peacock. It's a playful retelling of a European observing Indian culture and placing it within a contemporary art sphere. talked about their need to meet an art, some artists. I'd met this one man. This was an artist with concept behind his work. But I'm known as the Queen of Kochi, so I had confidence. And I introduced uh, Narayanan to William and Lulu and left them in each other's hands. <laughs> Samananam kaja kutila sundar tilaka blura kamayanka samananam apaharana tulasi dasa trasa vihara brinda kananam go. Charanaravinda, aham 
William and I looked around in the marketplaces. We went to an area called Broadway. There were an awful lot of um, shops selling plastic, plastic Tupperware, plastic buckets, beautiful colours, transparent. And um, we were thinking, this, this is kind of amazing. As we discussed that we might be able to do something which commented on contemporary consumerism and contemporary refuse and garbage against the intense green jungle which was growing up through. Boy, was that a big snake. Lulu, Narayanan and I almost simultaneously come to the conclusion that we could not manipulate these plastic monstrosities. We also set in process the um, framing of my work that I had made so long ago back in Australia, largely mandalas that um, reflect my interest in Eastern philosophy and um, meditation. We realised that we had to start rethinking our idea pretty quickly and it would be something that could be set up maybe a bit like a shrine to nature. It was one of the great joys to work with an artist who we had only known for a couple of days, but we had already been through such an intense period of creation that we were able to then come up with the same philosophy, but in a different language. And then the idea of a single plant covered in jewels came up. The life of an artist is never a straight path. It is one where you lay down the groundwork that you can, but you are very much reliant on luck and happenstance. There were ladders that we loved going up and you would applaud uh, fellow artists when they would roll the right dice and they would get up a ladder, but we would all be filled with commiserations. 
when that snake comes and you slide back down. The highs, the lows, that's what the game of life was, but particularly pronounced and particularly colourful for an artist. As soon as Narayan and William and I discussed the space, we realised that we were transforming it in some way. We thought of lots of names, but the, the name Renew kept coming up. And um, it kind of stuck, and, and that's what we went with. In the first few days of uh, coming and going from the gallery, and I'd walk through that entranceway, very dark, it's black, it's painted black, it's a bit like a cave. And then it occurred to me, yeah, of course, I, I can make a mandala there. We didn't quite know how we were going to display it, this plant, but we, we had known that we wanted its own life and its own compartment within that space. And the best idea that came to us, a cart one of the carts that gets pushed along the roadside, an item of everyday commerce and trade, everywhere in Kochi. We inquired about prices of carts. We inquired about hiring carts. We kept the search going. As we slid down this snake, the whole time, Narayanan was saying, you know, we can make a cart. Get 
ಮಾಡತ್ತೆ ಕಣಿ ಪೈಂಗಿಳಿಯಾಳೆ ಪೈಂಗಿಳಿಯಾಳೆ As night fell on that first evening of the installation, we all just were enraptured. Leaves were falling on it, moths were swarming to it, and all of us agreed that it was everything that we had expected it would be. It raises a question where the human interaction with the nature that is human and nature is directly proportional or indirectly proportional save the nature that is the main agenda of doing this so much fun it has been like a board game and starting at the beginning the unknown and rolling the dice and seeing where you land yes we did have a few snakes but boy we had some brilliant ladders a lovely event for any artist is to have a really special and joyful opening and our opening of a common ground the serendipitous happenstance project was a really wonderful experience evolving and you know I, I still find it phenomenal that not coming from an Indian background both William and Lulu have managed to capture the essence of these philosophical ideas I think that are based in Hindu philosophy and bring them out in their artworks As we reached the final square, this colourful game led us all the way through to this most wonderful conclusion, helped by so many people. And it reminded me of the time, my earliest days, you know, in art school and struggling, struggling with a painting and um, really struggling to find the image you know losing control of the paint and and marks happening that i wasn't expecting and drips happening that i wasn't expecting and you know there's a moment there where you're tempted to go oh that's wrong you know you you just get rid of it but in that moment if you can see 
that this is an opportunity to go somewhere with this. The mistake or the misturn or the wrong direction isn't necessarily wrong. It's just a pathway or a ladder up to somewhere you really want to go. This is happen chance, but you have to recognise it.